Genetics is on my radar screen. I think this is incredibly exciting. Of course, animals have led this for years. It's called breeding. Okay, on the health side of humans, we've only just caught up. Did you know that you're 50% the same as a, a banana genetically? Did you know that? I ate a banana last night. What a joy it was to know that actually if I swap my genes with a banana, I can give the banana half my genes and the banana doesn't know the difference. <laughs> I can take half the genes of a banana, put them in my body, and I can still give this keynote today. 60% the same as a tomato, but more importantly, uh, what are your name? Oliver is 65% the same as an earthworm, um, and uh, Rob. Rob, Rob, you are 67% the same as a mouse or a rat, and fortunately for you, I don't know if you have a cat or not, but if you did, what's your name? Heidi is 90% the same as a cat. Now, why this is really interesting to me is it shows you the logic of why it is that these things transfer over. Did you know there's only one way you can get old? Actually, there's eight, but they're all the same in every animal. Did you know that cats age in basically the same way as humans, the same way as mice and rats? Doesn't surprise you, shouldn't be. There are eight mechanisms of getting old, things like gene damage, mitochondrial damage, uh, the accumulation of proteins that we can't get rid of. There are eight mechanisms. They are the same in every creature. You find a way to crack aging in an animal, you will have the biggest... <laughs> extraordinary anti-aging medicine in humans. We can read a human's genes now of the whole genome for $2,000. It used to be $800 million. Did you know we found some animals that don't get old? Did you know? Put up your hands if you knew that. We found some animals that don't get old. It's called the rockfish project. Some kinds of rockfish, um, they die in 100 years, some die in 10. Some kinds of humpback whales die in 200 years, others die in 20. We don't know why. We will because it's in the genes. Same fish, same ocean, same food, same environmental damage, same plastics in the ocean. But some of them survive for 200 years and others in 20. We were studying animals that live for 400 years. And inside these very long-aged animals, we cannot find any ticking clock. So I've got my passport in my pocket, and this is the biggest predictor of my future. There's one fact on here which will predict to you why I will go and see a doctor almost uh, every time for the next 10 years. Do you know what it is? It's my birth date, okay? Because every year, my birth date predicts my future. It tells me there are some conditions which will be more common and others less common. And it's the same for every animal and horse in that farm. Every horse around the corner there in that shed is the biggest predictor of that horse's health is its age, and its birth date tells you the reasons it will need to see the vet. Okay? So aging is really important, but these animals don't get old. So the reasons they go to see the vet are the same in every decade. Think about it. Imagine that. Imagine a human being that doesn't develop an increased risk of cancer or diabetes as they get old, that doesn't get osteoarthritis or dementia, that has the same risk of getting a lethal pneumonia at the age of 10 or the age of 200. Wouldn't that be weird? This is what we have found in science. What's just think what it could do for humans. Now, this is part of the science of aging, and of course, in Europe, we are aging. In Germany, in this country, you need eight great-grandparents to produce a single baby. Does that matter? Yes, it does. It's changing the nature of society. In, one, in Italy, there will be one million people over the age of 90 in 10 years' time. Does it matter? Yes, it does. Does it affect the pet business? Yes, it does. One billion people will be over the age of 60 in 10 years. Does it matter? Yes, it does. How many of them will own pets? I don't know, but I hope someone in your company does. This is something I think is worth talking about on the tables. What does aging mean for this business? By the way, that many of these older people are increasingly wealthy. Their next of kin in their will is their house, dog, or cat. 